What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Well, tonight we're going to talk about Liz from My Life is Liz. Let me speak proper for the people that don't understand what the hell I'm saying because they want to use my videos and make fun of them because they think it's so hilarious when they laugh at dead babies and dead parents because I had some dude laugh at my videos when I was talking about it's sad that people post up dead pictures of babies. Uh, and they think that's funny, so I'm gonna talk clearly. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Now, this video is about my life as Liz. Well, I got some. My little source told me about this little article that this guy wrote. So I went over and I read about what he was talking about. I said, This dude must be talking out his ass. So I sit here and I looked and I read and I read and, and um. And what is what I've got from it was that this girl Liz Elizabeth Lee uh, is spoiled. She's a spoiled, snobby ass rich girl, just like any typical rich girl. She's a spoiled rich girl living in it. Cause one thing is, it's only funny for a girl that says. I'm a nerd because nerds don't live in big, like, from where I grew up, I knew some nerds that didn't grow up in no big-ass house. But, uh, big-ass houses like she did, they be had like a one-floor house, but it was a nice house, you know. Brady, well, I would say Brady, I would say Brady Bunch, but it's like a one-floor house with four bedrooms in a nice neighborhood, but no mansion. They said this girl was spoiled. I, yeah, she is. And it says that she's not really an outcast. She pretends to be an outcast. And she she pretends to be an outcast. She says she's a nerd, which she's not. She claims to be a nerd, but she, she, which, is, which she is not. And she doesn't know nothing about Star Wars. I'm not sitting there saying, oh, you putting your own little twist on you. She don't no, for real. This guy really says she doesn't know nothing about Star Wars. Doesn't know nothing about nerd things. She don't know nothing about comic books. She don't know nothing about things that nerds know. She pretends to be a nerd, but she's not. And how she got the show, I thought was just jacked up. She actually told her mom to get me a show on MTV and her mom got her to show and she's down in Texas man now this guy that wrote the article is from the same place as Liz doesn't um, he's a nerd he said he was a nerd himself and he grew up down there and he said well nerd, some nerds hate that place too but they don't get it show and I wonder it's like okay there's not I was like okay uh, usually nerds don't get a show like My Life is Liz. They usually get a show called Made. Made. They go on that show called Made. They don't get a show like My Life is Liz. Or that show, a, a what, it, RJ Burger, Hamburger, whatever his name. Close enough to reality, right? Well, not close enough, but they go on that show called Made. And and it's often funny she said it's a reality show and I often thought I said how can it be a reality show now nobody else has looked in the camera and said anything it's always Liz it's always Liz but I'm going to show you and plus uh, this guy um, actually wrote that she had a drug I'm going to show you where this guy said that she had a drug problem I'm not lying, this guy actually wrote the party says drug drug and says finally this is the real kicker here. Liz was was and probably still is a drug addict. Yes, the person who claims to be who she was, a nerd and a geek, cannot even say stay on the wagon. I should say that I personally don't care if people use this is what this guy is saying this is what this guy is saying not me look I'll show you that he's actually writing a story about this girl see that my life is Liz he's 
rightness for word for word word for word I even send y'all the link I even post it up so y'all can go see it look it says this first and foremost Liz was never an outcast in school even after she joined what she called now her nerd herd look she wrote it nerd herd she retains her status as one of the coolest cool kids no one ever harassed her or mocked her that way she claims in the show and in many ways she was snob was a snob and she called in high school we shall return to this idea later later I'm gonna give y'all I'm post the, the link in the description box so y'all can go look or some, so when y'all can read it for yourself I didn't raise this I'm not making this up this is actually somebody else's doing and he actually wrote this second she didn't leave the popular crowd because she had something wonderful whatever free spirit breakdown break the mold breaking the mold whatever in fact she joined the new group because they that's what was hip way for her to remain cool after she betrayed her other friends the whole time she knew to play the card correctly I mean I'm telling you this woman is this girl has played y'all for a fool saying she is a nerd she knows about Star Wars and even shows this third it's a and very spoiled she's very spoiled looking down on others in the town she grew up in and anyone who isn't on her level besides her Mac bro MacBook Pro iPhone cell phone is convincing her parents look says Liz convinced her parents to let her go to art school in Manhattan of course art school in Texas just wasn't acceptable through her sense of whatever lack of humor the girl has been lying to everybody for she shows it's complete off base reality not only is it not real but isn't even based in reality of course Liz has attempted to craft and go around the question of rather her show is or is or is not a, a reality show She's not gonna say it. Now, it even shows it. it. Even shows where it says the Cupid dance, where they tell people to get off the floor to get an angle at her. It shows it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This woman is lying to y'all. Lying to your face is. It says Liz and her friends and Taylor are friends now. Always been friends. Then the whole struggle between them. They've been friends ever since before she got the show. She's been friends. Talking about she's all this and that. The woman's been lying to y'all from the get go, and that's all that is to it. Y'all sit there wanna bend down and kiss her ass because y'all think it's all appropriate. She's been lying to y'all. They still friends. And Corey, that Corey, you remember that Corey girl that, that called her a bitch at the, the, with the first season? The blind headed girl with the earring in her nose. Kept messing with Liz, calling her a bitch. Hope you die with all this and that. And then the second she ended up pregnant, they're still friends. They never did stop being friends. Courtney, I think, yeah, Courtney, that's her name. Corey, Courtney, whatever. Ellen, Corey, oh, thank you. Now, let me show you. Let me show you where it says actually. Look, it says uh, actually. Liz actually does not really know that much about Star Wars. In fact, she only started learning about it after she found out it was one of the things that that nerds cling to as a symbol. Being a nerd, she did not know who was Luke Skywalker. Is. I'm not writing this, y'all. This is all true. This is what this dude's right now. This is what he's saying. Okay. And finally, what was the, uh, okay. Is it? 
and, and it, it, to me it's just BS and how this girl posing as something that she's not and just to get famous making her parents go get her show on MTV you know you know MTV ain't gonna turn down money they throwing it all up in her face and this and that and uh that uh, uh one more thing that's another one there I thought it was kind of funny I was like okay it's also I was showing y'all this what this guy's been writing said there's also some nonsense going around from Corey saying that Liz was pregnant when she was 16 or 17 but who knows the real how real that is now this is what this brother's writing I ain't writing this I ain't write this I ain't write this down. I, like I said, I'm put the link in the description. I can go look at it. But this is what they saying now. This and y'all want to follow this girl, this redhead girl. Post it's like I left the public crew. Popular crew and all this and that and this and that. And this girl doesn't even know it, but she doesn't know nothing about Star Wars, comic books, sneakers. My life is this. <laughs> The MTV, the whole nerd thing is really bullshit. Now, I'm a. Now, this has been Afro Joe. Tell me what you think about this topic. Topic. T O P I C. Topic. Not me. And tell me what you think about it. Because to me, I think it's bullshit how this girl is faking out everybody, saying she's a nerd, which she's really not. She's just a snotty, snobby ass bitch. A snobby ass, crack headed bitch. That's all she is. She don't know nothing. But uh y'all tell me what y'all think about this. Leave me a comment or a video response and tell your friends about it. Tell your friends about it. Subscribe to my page. If you're gonna leave something negative about me on this video, I'ma delete delete it. As you say right down you're stupid, I'ma delete it and block your ass. Cause I'm not gonna feel fool with that. But uh and that's how it is. This is Afro Joe. Holler at me. Yeah. Ooh.